Pisces, welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. If you're returning to me, and for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. I've been meditating on your cards. Close your ears for a second, just in case that's too loud. I try to do it gently. I still have the sage burning away here for your for your reading. Now I do this to keep the intentions pure, the healing stones, everything. Keep everything as positive as I can. I do that for every single reading. I meditate on all the cards for you. So this is a what the heck is going on spread. Keep in mind that this is only for those who are interested in someone else, either a love interest, reconciling with somebody, thinking about somebody, already in a relationship with somebody. Somebody, whatever the case may be this is not for those that are already happy uh, or those that are already married and happily married or just want to stay single okay so keep that in mind I'm gonna do one deck for your energy and for their energy combined and so I'll pick up probably both your energy here and this is going to be their energy and sometimes it can go vice versa so keep what resonates leave what doesn't let's go ahead and get started okay May 29th the 31st, but remember, as with tarot, anything can happen weeks from now, months from now, six months, all the way up to a year. I've had things happen for me. Some things may already be occurring in your life. Some things, you know, um, if you're feeling any of this at all, then this is definitely the reading for you. You can go on the playlist as well and check back, and, and maybe one of the other videos I have done previously resonate for you. Date, these are date stamped only so that you know what comes first, second, and third. So you're, wow jumping out in two so your first two cards out for you is I feel that you're heavily guarded you may be thinking about somebody from your past it could be you know someone from your childhood that you're reminiscing about reminiscing about reminiscing about boy I'm having trouble saying that word the last couple days but you're you're a little bit guarded or else they are okay so take that how it resonates now let's get your love interest energy out here so remember, again, this can go vice versa. I can't control the cards. I, I ask the questions and spirit comes out with what it comes up with and I interpret it for you. Okay, so for, for Pisces, love interest, please. How are they feeling about Pisces? What is action? Wow, that was fast. Wow. Okay, so this is a judgment, major arcana. So someone's thinking about and being led to and guided to by the universe to let go of the past and wake up and realize what their purpose is. So this could be you. It could be your love interest um, that you're thinking about is is being uh, gu guided by the universe, by the divine, being asked to wake up and, and giving them certain signs or clues or um, synchronicities to let go of what was and uh, what used to be and wake up to a brand new future, let go of the past. Maybe they're thinking about you from the past and the universe is trying to help them to let go of you if they've been hanging on to you or vice versa. Someone's feeling guarded. There you go, Eight of Cups. So someone is not feel, not feeling fulfilled where they are and they're wanting to walk away and find their ninth cup because all these cups are empty. Now, when you get to nine of cups, that's when wish fulfillment comes, okay? That's when somebody is happy, their wishes are coming true kind of thing. So I feel the universe is guiding them or you again could be vice versa to go find that ninth cup to let go of the past. Um, maybe not to be so guarded. And this could just be your energy I'm picking up. So again, take it how it resonates. Now the next card that wanted to come out for your love interest was the hero font. So somebody may have walked away or may be thinking about walking away from a marriage. They call this possibly the marriage card. This is a hero font. Could be a Taurus, somebody who... Um, believes in tradition of marriage and family and values and morals so you could have a Taurus in your life doesn't have to be or it could be a marriage that you're walking away from thinking about walking away from perhaps there's no love left there or maybe you have already walked away and the universe is trying to wake you up to uh, what your new future is you know you know basically let go of the past the past is gone and we're trying to wake you up you have a brand new future go find that ninth cup um, so this could be about letting go of, of a previous commitment or it could be letting go of a Taurus, whatever or however that resonates from you. Because interestingly enough, the Six of Cups represents reminiscing, uh, reminiscing, reminiscing, there I go again, about someone from the past feeling guarded. Maybe someone from your past you're reminiscing, reminiscing about is guarded and protecting themselves. Okay. There's no more love there and the universe is asking you to let go or them to let go. Let's check this out. Let's go ahead and clarify the six of cups. Now I will continue this over on Vimeo. So if this is resonating for you, fantastic. Give me the thumbs up. That would be awesome. 
and uh, my girls and I really love watching the channel grow. It means the world to us, so thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and uh, let's clarify that Six of Cups, please. So this will be continued on Vimeo. So if you're feeling this is for you awesome, that will be pinned in the comment section. The link down in the comment section as well as in the description box. Yes. Okay. So this is the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe once was a committed relationship with family. It could be even with children. Um, someone from your past. You know, maybe... You've been reminiscing, oh my, I'm not even going to say it. Someone from your childhood, you may have been committed to or whatever the case may be. You may be thinking about them, they may be guarded. And I feel that the universe is saying you need to let this go or they need to let this go. Okay, there's no more, there's no more love there. Go find your wish fulfillment somewhere else. Um, we're going to clarify that Eight of Cups. That's very interesting. Wow. Oh my goodness, holy cow, look, just, oh, you're mirroring each other, look at this. You may be thinking about one another, okay, that could be, but someone's guarded. Or you may be each thinking about someone else from your past, maybe each one of you have someone else from your past. Wow, that is so interesting. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clarify that Six of Cups again. Clarify the Six of Cups, please, for Pisces. Please, what? what's that Six of Cups about here? Oh, they're all falling. All falling. What do we got? Oh, that's too many cards. I'm going to reshuffle that. Give me one minute. If it's meant to come out again, it will. Jeez, did you see that? Yeah, I know they're flipping out. Let's take it. That's meant to be when it happens twice. Okay. Oh, what was I saying about wish fulfillment? Look at this. So there may be somebody coming towards you back from your past, and that's your wish fulfillment. After someone walks away, you or them, to go and get that ninth cup. They may be thinking about you from their past and coming back to get you or wanting to be with you, knowing that you are their wish fulfillment or vice versa, but they have to walk away first. The universe is telling them to let go of the past and walk towards someone. I remember seeing this before in your other readings. Yes, you had someone from your past, your childhood, or someone you've been reminiscing. Rem oh, my word. I got to stop using that word. I got to come up with a different one. Someone from your past. You may have known someone from your teenager years, whatever the case may be, or it may be that you feel like you've known them all your life. And this is the emperor. This is Aries or Taurus or just somebody who likes order and control. Again, structure. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Uh, and it's your wish fulfillment or you are their wish fulfillment. Magician, someone's been manifesting. Somebody's been manifesting their ninth cup. Could be you, could be your love interest. Look at this, good news coming in. Page of Wands, this is about um, messages. This is action. This is a messenger that comes in with good news. So you may be receiving some good news that someone's decided to walk away towards you that they feel that you are their wish fulfillment. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's check this out. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify this Hierophant card for you. Clarify the Hierophant card for Pisces. Love interest, please. Why is the Hierophant here? There, ooh, there we go. Again, we're going to do more clarifying in the extended. I will pull some Cyril Marchetti cards as well as a true love message card for you. Yes, this is about completion and someone looking forward, making a choice and decision. You may be at a distance from them, them from you, and they're trying to make a choice and decision to perhaps travel towards you, take a journey because you're from their past um, or they've known you from childhood or they just feel like you're... Um, you're the love of their life. You are their wish fulfillment and vice versa. This could be your energy. And they've had a completion. They've completed a goal or life lesson, a karmic lesson. It could have been a marriage, a previous commitment that they've walked away from. And now they're going to walk towards you, toward their wish fulfillment again or vice versa. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card. Let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Wands, please, for Pisces. Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? Clarify the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the Nine of Wands. What's that about for Pisces? Okay, someone is feeling guarded and they're juggling. Okay, so maybe they are guarded because they felt you were juggling them or vice versa. 
they were juggling you in a previous commitment and now they're choosing to walk away towards you and they've been manifesting and they've been taking control back of their lives they're taking on fire energy they may have fire and earth in their chart water in their chart you have water in your chart and they you know they know that you're guarded and they were trying to juggle and make a choice and i feel like that's what they're doing here now because they have the two of wands so they're making a choice to possibly travel towards you and take a journey towards you we are going to do more clarifying in the extended over on vimeo so if you're interested if this is resonating for you again do me a favor and hit the thumbs up it only takes you a moment but it means the world to my girls and i and subscribe that would be fantastic and for those of you that want to meet me over on vimeo for the continuation of this reading the link will be down below again or in the uh, comment section leave me some comments love to hear your life stories love doing your personal readings and getting to know you on a one-to-one -one basis it's been fantastic and very rewarding and i'd love to see you on my facebook page so with that being said if you're going to leave me now i'll see you next time and for those of you going to go to vimeo i'll see you over there bye for now